Hi, good morning and good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorial. You are watching Mainframe Vizam Tutorial Part 3. So, in this video, I would like to share you something about characteristics of Vizams and uh, the important concepts or uh, the important usages of Vizam. Okay, so what are the characteristics of Vizam? It is used for mainly the faster access of the data sets. So compared to the PS files, the VSAM uh, accessing are faster. So VSAM cluster or data sets can be used for both batch and online processing. Uh, it is mainly used to copy a sequential data sets to VSAM data sets or vice versa from VSAM data sets to uh, sequential data sets. And it is also used to copy a data between uh, VSAM VSAM cluster to another VSAM cluster that is it might be ESDS to ESDS, ESDS to KSDS or KSDS to ESDS or LDS to RLDS vice versa. So the note important here, the note, uh, the important point we note to, need to be noted here is uh, VSAM datasets cannot be stored on tape, tape volume so it is always stored on DASD storage. Okay, so the various terms and use it, we're working on VSAM or ID camps. It is an IBM supplied utility which is used to copy, create, and delete a cluster. So in my last video, I have already shown how do we how to create a cluster. I mean different kinds of cluster that is KSDS, ESDS, RRDS, and LDS using ID cam. So there are another features of these ID cams that is it is used to copy and it is also used for delete a cluster. Repro. Repro it is a command that is used in SysDD start to copy the data from sequential to VSAM and vice versa. And not only sequential to VSAM, this is also used between uh, cluster to cluster. So another thing is count and this command is used to along with repro to copy the first end records. In the same in the same way is skip pen. This is also a command used to used along with repro uh, to skip the first end records okay let's see an example of jcl using repro count and skip so this jcl is used to copy a sequential data sets to a case uh, ksds as usual we use a job card and uh, our start with activity that is uh, we are using an id cams which is an ibm supplied utility so this is my ps file and uh, i'm trying to copy it to asds or ksds so let me assume that it is a KSDS file, okay? So I want to copy a PS file uh, to a KSDS file, okay? So this would be my JCL. So uh, what I'm giving is uh, repro NDD. NDD is the keyword which is used to accept the input and outdd is which is used to copy the data from input to output. So, so I should mention here it has output. So this would be the input and this would be the output. So skip three. Uh, skip three indicates that uh, uh, skip the first three records in the P PS file and uh, copy it to the KSDS file. Uh, how many records do you want to copy? I want to copy first three, I mean, after three records, after skipping the three records and the, I want to copy the fourth, fifth, and sixth records to the KSDS file. So that's the reason why I'm using skip and count three. So this is very important when you're working in a, when you're working in real time. So we we may get many occurrences uh, that so you are having an assorted uh, sorted data in PS file. So you wanted to use only a specific records. Either it might be for a debugging or it it might be for testing. So you in a, in a in a flat file uh, there are different uh, uh, types of informations are stored in the PS file. So just you wanted to make uh, you wanted to extract only a specific record from the PS file PS file which is having all the key information and other data set. The more or not, obviously the first five ten or twelve p twelve bytes would be the key and then followed by the required information. So. Just you copy a selected records or the specific types and you copy it to the KSDS files and then you start it using for a debugging or any testing and uh, I mean unit testing and everything. So that's the importance it plays here. So 
multiple op options that can be used when you are uh, when you are copying from ksds to ksds we can uh, use as below to copy a specific records so so earlier was from ps to ksds if you want to copy a from K ksds to ksds you have to use key as we know that ksds has three components that is index component and data components and other components so so key components uh, uh, that is from key 202 to key 1000 so just I wanted to copy using key so I want to copy this specific record from key to this key okay so in the same way from ESDS to ESDS if we use from address and to 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 address the same way for RRDS from number to from number to to do number so so these are the different ways of copying a data set from a cluster to cluster or sequential data set to cluster and cluster to sequential data sets okay so that's all for today's video so i would be coming up with more and me more video uh, if there are any mistakes or if there are any concerns so can you please comment me comment on uh, youtube or like me or kindly please Feel free to subscribe these on my YouTube channel so that you can get an updates whenever we post upload the videos on YouTube. So uh, next videos would be I would like to share about how to use the VZAM datasets in Co using COBOL programming and uh, uh, how to use uh, uh, use uh, VZAM datasets in online uh, CICS batch processing. So that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching this. Have a great and wonderful day.